us pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day. We honor and glorify your holy name for yet another opportunity to be encountered by your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning. Uh, today we are looking at um, Acts 17 and our title is In Him We Live and Move and Have Our Being. Now this chapter gives uh, the following highlight about Paul's missionary work. One, his preaching and persecution at the uh, Thessalonica, which is another city of Macedonia. Uh, yesterday, remember, we were uh, studying Paul at this uh, uh, place uh, named Macedonia. And uh, in verse 1, we read, when Paul and his companions had passed through Amphipolis and Apollonia, they came to the Saronica, uh, where there was a Jewish uh, synagogue. And number two, we also find him preaching at Berea, uh, where he met with an encouraging audience, uh, but was driven away uh, by the persecution. Uh, verse 11, we read, Now the Berean Jews were of more noble character than those in the Saronica, for they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scriptures every day to see if what Paul said was true. Um, uh, brethren, Paul is moving from one uh, town to the other because the people he left at Macedonia are following him and uh, bringing uprising. So he's got to move to the next uh, uh, town and he doesn't uh, take a lot of time. He just locates the synagogue and he moves in there and starts teaching the word. Then in, uh, uh, in number three, we find a debate at Athens, which is uh, recorded in verse 16 to 21. And uh, the account he gave of, uh, in here, Paul gives the account of a uh, true religion. In verse 16, we read, while Paul was waiting for them, that is Timothy and Silas, in Athens, he was greatly distressed to see that the city was full of idols. Uh, in one of uh, those verses, we read that they had uh, somewhere written that uh, to an altar which was raised to an unknown God. And so Paul uh, took time to explain to them that the God he is uh, uh, preaching about is that God whom they do not know, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, then four, uh, we find the conviction of those uh, that were addicted to polytheism and idolatry, and he read them to the Christian religion from verse 22 to 31. Then verse 32 to 34, uh, we find the success of uh, this sermon. Uh, in verse 34, we read, Some of the people became followers of Paul and believed. Among them was Dionysius, a member of Aleopagus, also a woman named Damaris, and a number of others. So despite the persecutions, Paul does not stop uh, preaching the gospel. Every city he passed through, he went to the synagogue and preached Christ with a lot of zeal. He was, a system, he was systematic in his mission, uh, starting by preaching to the Jews and then to the Gentiles. His missionary work was successful, as recorded uh, in this chapter. Uh, why? Because love and compassion motivated him to continue with the work. Uh, my question to you, brethren, today is, what motivates you uh, to keep working? in this kingdom of God. May the Lord bless you as we continue working in his vineyard.